Today's discussion will be about something of utmost importance, the five reasons why it's difficult to break free from narcissism. The first reason, and perhaps the most crucial one that makes it extremely challenging to escape narcissism, is that you are still entangled in narcissistic illusion. You are still connected to the fake persona and deception that the narcissist used during the early stages of the relationship and the love bombing phase. During this phase, the narcissist spoke extensively about the future of your relationship with them. Later on, you discover that the relationship begins to deteriorate, a common pattern in narcissistic abuse, meaning that your expectations were excessively high during the idealization phase. Following this emotional roller coaster, you enter a devaluation phase. We all know that the impact of the emotional roller coaster and love bombing phase can be very powerful, especially for individuals who heavily rely on others for most aspects of their life. This deep connection between the victim and the narcissist can persist even after separating from the narcissist, to the point where you might feel a form of addiction to this person despite all the mistreatment you've endured you may still be attached to your story with the narcissist. This is the narcissistic illusion. To begin breaking free from this narrative, you need to understand and be sure that this person is not real, but a fake persona. This realization is one of the reasons that make it difficult to escape from narcissism because we are still attached to the old illusionary story. This brings us to the second reason why you might find it challenging to break free from narcissism. The second reason is that you might still be in contact, even if it's minimal or not completely severed. We've discussed before the circumstances that make it difficult to cut off all contact with the narcissist, such as having children together or shared work responsibilities. This is the time when you can apply the grey rock method, meaning you don't give the narcissist any energy or engage with them in any way unless it's absolutely necessary. Afterward, you can cut off contact completely. For those who have no compelling reason to maintain any form of contact with the narcissist, it is crucial to sever all ties completely, using any means necessary. Maintaining necessary contact keeps you in a state of monitoring the narcissist, which means you continue following their social media, keeping tabs on them, and engaging with them in some form. This can significantly prolong the healing process. Limited or necessary communication with the narcissist prevents you from healing properly because you'll likely see things on the narcissist's page that can lead to frustration, anger, or despair. It's well known that after separating from the narcissist, they tend to showcase their new fake life. We know that narcissists quickly move from one relationship to another, and witnessing their new relationship can make it very challenging for you to heal properly, requiring more time, as previously mentioned. Cutting off all contact, my friends, is the fastest way to heal and overcome the narcissist. It greatly helps in breaking the attachment between you and the narcissist. You must understand very well that you are still strongly attached to the narcissist, and this is what makes it difficult for you to separate from them or break free from this toxic relationship. That's why completely cutting off contact is one of the most effective methods to achieve your goal. The third and primary reason for the difficulty in breaking free from the narcissist or why you remain stuck and unable to end this toxic relationship is that you're not focusing on your own healing. Instead, you're still fixated on the narcissist. You constantly think about the relationship with the narcissist and try to understand things like what type of narcissism they have or whether they are truly good or bad. If you can change your perspective and redirect all the energy you spend trying to understand the narcissist towards your own healing, you'll make significant progress on your journey to recovery from narcissistic abuse. The first step, and a simple yet profound one, is to tell yourself and admit that everything in this relationship was a loss. I know this statement can be painful for some, but it's necessary to start your path back to yourself and your healing journey. You need to move beyond the phase of trying to understand the narcissist. I'm not talking about understanding what happened to you but understanding fully that this relationship was a slow destruction for you and your life. You should stop thinking about who the narcissist is with now or why they treated you the way they did. You should stop following their actions in their new relationship and asking yourself why they're not behaving the same way they did with you. Instead, focus on your own healing and growth. If you can completely stop thinking about all these things, you will automatically shift your focus to yourself and your life. At that point, you will truly be able to reach the healing we've been talking about, 
and you'll be able to break your attachment to the narcissist much faster. Let's be honest with ourselves, many of us still want the narcissist in our lives even after the mistreatment we've endured. This can happen through conversations with the narcissist for any reason, or by sending messages to them, even if the reason is not deserving. You need to understand that when you do this, you are giving the narcissist what they need, and you are still wanting them in your life if you continue this behavior. Sometimes, a victim may say, the narcissist hasn't left me alone, but I'll tell you that the narcissist won't leave you alone because they're not designed to do so. To them, the supply you provide is like a drug, and when that supply diminishes or decreases, they need another fix, which leads them to reach out to you. You can cut ties with the narcissist, but for the narcissist's mind, this is unacceptable, and they will always try to return to the relationship. Their efforts are relentless, and they'll be very keen on leaving the door ajar between you two so they can re-enter your life whenever they please and withdraw from the relationship again as they wish. That's why you won't be able to end your relationship with the narcissist or cut off contact when you say that they haven't left you alone. In reality, they won't leave you alone, but you have the ability and strength to leave them. The credit here goes to cutting contact for those who can execute it or having very weak contact for those who must deal with the narcissist for some reason. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions regarding the channel's improvement, please share them in the comments.